Hi and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. This time I want to show you an easy method to add clouds to a boring sky like you can see in this image. And for the editing I will be using blending modes and a few adjustment layers. Also before I start the editing you can find the cloud image I am using for this tutorial as well as a few other cloud images in the description of that video. But now let's start the editing. And the first thing I want to do is to place one of those cloud images above the first layer. And I'm going with this single cloud just because I think this will work good with the mountain in the back. Uh, let's scale it up a little bit. And in order to blend this cloud with the image in the back, I'm going to set the blending mode to screen. And you can already see the background coming through that layer because with the screen blending mode selected, I can tell Photoshop to leave brighter areas visible while darker areas like the blue sky in the back of that cloud will get less and less visible. Now to demonstrate what that means, I can change the brightness of the original image a little bit by making it darker. The blue sky of the overlay cloud will get more and more visible as you can see right here. Except for the brighter parts of the mountain because they are basically pure white. So now that you know how this screen blending mode works, we can adjust that layer accordingly so we don't have the ugly blue color overlaying the other shot. So again I'm applying a levels adjustment layer and I'm clipping it to the overlay cloud by holding down the alt key and pressing between the levels adjustment layer and the cloud overlay. And now when I'm doing an adjustment to the levels it only affects the cloud layer. So let's see what happens if I drag up the black point of the cloud overlay. It will blend more with the image in the back. Now of course it still doesn't blend together perfectly. So let's apply another adjustment layer and this time I'm going with the hue and a saturation layer. Again clip it to the layer beneath it. I want to change the master setting to blues and here I'm drop the lightness all the way down. And I can do the same thing with the cyan color tones. And now you can see the sky of the cloud overlay is almost gone. Now I can further adjust the levels adjustment layer to fine tune it. Just be careful with it to not lose any details from the cloud. And then if you still have such a visible overlay effect over your image, don't worry, we can just apply a layer mask on that overlay layer. Then grab a black brush and simply brush out a part of your overlay image like that. And as you can see, with a few simple clicks, I was able to add this cloud to a rather boring looking blue sky, which most of the times sucks for landscape photography. Keep in mind though, this is not the perfect method for sky replacement and this should be used as a quick and dirty way to add clouds to your image. But anyway, I still hope this was helpful and interesting. If you have any suggestions for other videos, then please let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video.